So I want to talk about URXVT and why I use it. Uh, ignore this up here at the top. I had it so we can have syntax highlighting on the commands I'm showing here. And so it takes care of all of my needs. It's basically uh, the perfect, at this point, it's the perfect terminal for me. And I've tried out Alacrity and ST and Tmux Multiplexer. I mentioned these three, in per well, mentioned these two terminals in particular because they have what is called Vi selection mode. And I'll show you what I mean. I'm going to talk about that. I'll do an LS and now I'm doing Alt V and I can go up here and then hit Y here and then I hit escape again. So that is, that is what I absolutely love. To me, it drives me crazy. I'm on the command line and it's supposed to be keyboard only and then suddenly I have to reach for the mouse to select something and copy and paste it. So let's talk about Alacrity. I uh, am running Debian and so to use that on Debian, you have to use the snap package and I have actually compiled it before. But in the end, it's slower than URXVT and heavier. And I, I want my terminal to appear instantly, instantly, very fast. ST, the suckless terminal, I tried that and I gave up because I did the first patch and that worked great. And then for the second patch, I realized I'm having to, I'm gonna have to merge this manually and I've got like four or five more patches. And I felt like um, time is too valuable for all of that. And so, no, I'm not doing suckless terminal. And then Tmux, you can, I think you can do vice selection mode on the Tmux, which is a multiplexer, uh, but I'm not gonna do that. I'm not gonna run something on top of um, my terminal if I went and do that, you know, most cases. And I have noted that there are some changes um, periodically with URXVT. And so if we go to, um, this website, this is where the repo is for it, not that website. And so you can see 9.29, that was nine months ago, so that's not too long ago. And so I, I don't know what the status is precisely, if it's just kind of maintenance mode or, or, or what, but it works for me, works great. Uh, this is from my Zenit RC. You know, that the, the runs when I log in in a graphical environment. I run URXVTD daemon mode with the Q flag so it doesn't uh, so it doesn't put out text. And then, of course, it goes into the background there. And then, so that keeps it running in the background. And then when I do Control-T, for example, it runs URXVC, URXVT, C meaning client. So now I'm going to show you my X defaults. Um, so every time you update this, you have to run XRDB and on the file X defaults. So that's XRDB and then the file, and then that'll update so you can use it. And so we got foreground color, background color. These are my fonts that I prefer. I really like Liberation Mono because you can distinguish very clearly between a capital O and zero. Capital O, uh, there's a zero, and let's do a capital O. There we go, so it's very distinctive. And the one I was using before didn't distinguish that too well, so that was, I did not like that. And so uh, you might, how did you know which hexadecimal colors to use? Uh, and so I did this. Uh, let's open up for terminal. This is how I got my colors. I, I, I recall, I believe. I, I, maybe the config file used to be in hex colors. It's not anymore. It's an RGB. But I just go here. I'd open up. You can open up LX terminal, whatever terminal, and I've got the palette here. So I've got zero, zero, zero. And this is actually Tango, but uh, with my a little bit of a softer foreground and background because I don't want it harsh, harsh, completely white on completely black. So, and then you can just go here on the colors and see. Okay, it's that one. It's a little tedious, but. You see how it goes down in order, same order. So this 4E9. 
you get the idea. So that's how I got those. I, I remember initially said, like, well, how do I know what colors I want? And that's how I got it. No scroll bar, uh, 3,000 lines, control the buffer. I needed to set an icon file, otherwise there's no icon, at least in my setup. And I don't want my point cursor, if I land on the thing, I don't need it sticking around. So, and the, when I was typing accents, I, I used the English US International Keyboard. When I was typing accents, it was a little square thing was popping up and that bothered me. All right, here are my extensions. Let's see. Here are my extensions. So we'll talk about that in a second. And yeah, let's go ahead and talk about extensions. URXVT, zoom in a little bit. EXT. And so you can just do um, URXVT Pearl, Pearls, URXVT Pearls. You can just search that and then you can get the, you know, all these and then many others. And so the default, default was necessary here. Selection to keyboard was necessary. That's when I, if something's selected in the terminal, it automatically adds it to the clipboard. Font size, that's so I can zoom in and increase the font. Keyboard select is the Vi selection mode that I mentioned, which I love. New window, you can do control. Well, I do control shift in, it opens up in a new window in the same directory. And I wanna be able to scroll with my mouse. And one little thing here. Uh, I When I zoom in, I want it to do a quick, if you look in the top right of my screen, it does a quick pop-up showing the font size. And so that's what this is. And I run this script. And for whatever reason, it was double notifying me. And so this is my little trick to get it to notify just once. I tried to do this in Perl, but I couldn't get it to work. It caused an issue. And so there it is. That's my little workaround. So it only notified me once. But I want to be able to see precisely what the uh, font size is when I zoom in. Because when I teach, I have both sides and I want them to be uh, the same size. But particularly thinking of my translation class. All right. So key bindings. M stands for meta, which is your alt key. So let's see. Okay, so Alt V goes into device selection mode and then Control Shift V is paste. Control Shift C is, is copy. Of course, in selection mode, you can I can hit Y and that'll put it on the clipboard. And that device selection mode is very handy if I am SSH'd into a server I can even with Vim, even in Vim, I can do Vice selection mode and copy and paste. And uh, that will, that'll be on my desktop's clipboard instead of just doing yank in Vim. And then that's just on that instance on that server. Um, new window control, um, control, control shift in. Hmm. Oh yeah, these are all control shift. I don't know why that's different. Maybe it's the maybe they're synonymous, maybe it's the same thing. Up is the plus, down is the minus, equal goes back to, you know, the default. Slash shows your font size. I actually never use this one. So that's my X defaults file. Save it. I apparently made some changes there. Um, oh, so this is very nice. Uh, awesome window manager. If you want to make window rules, say open up on this tag on this monitor, that sort of thing, it has to, the terminal has to have its own PID, uh, process ID. Now, if you use something like XFCE4 terminal or LX terminal, then each new instance is going to be on the same PID. However, 
uh, on URXVT, if you're, you're running URXVTC, then it shares a PID. At least I, yeah, at least I believe. However, if you want to start URXVT on its own PID, then you just do the command URXVT. And so that's what I use for the terminal windows that I want to open in specific places. So certain documents and that sort of thing I open on, on certain screens or certain tags. Uh, image preview works fantastic in Ranger. I don't remember, but I remember maybe there were some issues with maybe a different terminal that I was researching, but it works brilliantly. I use uh, W3M uh, for the image preview in uh, Ranger. Okay, so this was an issue. Let's see what we can do here. Um, now I'm gonna type clear on purpose. It's gonna clear the screen. Now I'm gonna scroll up and it disappears. I mean, there's nothing showing. So this is an issue with URXVT. However, I'll show you this. If I do control L, I've mapped it to be able to work. And I just found this the other day, actually, right here. Now this, I use bash, but this is for uh, ZSH. And so I adapted it for bash put this in my bash RC and that's not very readable. I compacted it down all to one line and, uh, and also the term variable might be different on your case, but I made that a direct comparison, a little simpler with just one square bracket, but this is maybe more readable here. And if your terminal is RxVT bind, use the bind command that, uh, that binds, a key binding in your shell. Uh, control L binds to this function, your XVT clear. And then what that runs is the yes command. And that just outputs w w an infinite amount of, it just keeps going. It's like a infinite loop, just outputting lines and just output empty lines. And then you get the, um, you get the number of empty lines of how many lines. This is a variable here, global variable. And fifty-seven. Hmm. And then I needed to subtract one because otherwise it put an extra um, an extra line there right before my prompt and then clears it. So this is a workaround, definitely a workaround to keep the scroll back buffer normal. Now, if I um, if I did LS and I filled up the entire window, it would have a scroll back buffer. So very quirky, but uh, it's, this is the workaround and I'm very glad that people post things to, to forums. Okay, so another thing that I do that is very handy Let's see. See here, I show the last command and then the current directory. And so I, the previous terminal I use, I use this. The bash command is the same, kind of basically the same as history one. And yeah, I used to have one dot apparently instead of three dots. And so another thing I had to do with URXVT, I had to, and I found this, uh, I had to pipe it into awk with printf. Otherwise, thing it, it would mess up my command if it had uh, an escape character in it. So if I was echoing out something with a new line, you know, backslash in with a new line character or a tab character, it would mess it up. So I had to use this awk with printf to show the latest command, but I'm very happy with URXVT and I hope I can, I hope I can uh, be able to keep using it uh, because it's, it meets all of my needs. It's to me, it's basically feature complete. So if there's some other feature that I find myself needing, then I can, I can return to the drawing table, I suppose, and, and research others. So hope you uh, enjoy your day.